So fairly early on in the first season of The Expanse, we see the Martian battleship the Donager come under an attack by Protogen stealth ships. But with the Donager being one of the most powerful warships in the system, this attack had to be executed in a very specific way. So I figured today we'll take a look at the attack on the Donager, how Protogen pulled it off, and exactly what tools were used in this assault. I'm Colin, and this is Sci-Fi Deep Dive. Remember, if you enjoyed this video, to head down below and hit that subscribe button. So, as many of us know, the Donager-class battleships are the most powerful vessels within the Martian Navy, and arguably the most powerful vessels within the entire system. So, for an organization, in particular a non-state organization without a standing navy, to be able to bring down a battleship like this is rather impressive. So, how exactly did the Protogen Company take down the Donager? Well, let's just jump right in and start looking at the combatants in this battle. Well, first off, it's worth noting that Donager is alone. She doesn't have an escort fleet. She does have some smaller vessels on board, notably at least one Corvette-class frigate, the Tachi, which would later become the Rosinante. However, a single Donager-class battleship is so powerful that it's still rather surprising it was able to be taken down even without its escort fleet. The Donager is the lead ship in her class of battleships, and was armed with a pair of heavy turreted railguns, six forward-facing torpedo tubes, eight aft-facing torpedo tubes, and 59 PDCs allowing the Donager to be very well defended and very capable of carrying out offensive attacks of different kinds. So with the PDCs making the Donager a really difficult target for torpedoes, and the railguns and torpedoes of the Donager making it very dangerous at a distance, how exactly did Protogen carry out this attack? Well, this attack was carried out using a small fleet of six Amun-Ra-class stealth frigates. These are experimental frigates designed using technology that most of the system really doesn't have yet. The most notable piece of technology utilized here is the cutting-edge stealth technology designed to make these frigates nearly unidentifiable, and very hard to track at a distance. On top of that, because these ships were built stealthily and secretly, and for an organization that no one really knew even had warships, the Martians didn't have their sort of drive signature in their database. So, when they noticed these ships burning towards them, they really couldn't identify them properly. But while the Amun-Ra class stealth ships individually were quite a bit smaller and weaker than the massive Donager, they were remarkably well armed for their size. Each having a single hard-mounted railgun capable of punching clean through the Donager in small penetration attacks, four PDCs capable of screening the small vessel against incoming torpedoes, and two rapid reloading torpedo bays, which while it didn't allow these vessels to fire massive volleys of simultaneous torpedoes, they could keep a pretty constant stream of torpedoes heading towards their enemy. So after picking up the survivors of the Canterbury, which had survived aboard the shuttle the Knight, the Donager was underway when they detected a series of interesting drive signatures. These drive signatures would ultimately prove to be the Promethean stealth ships burning towards the Donager. However, because of the configuration they were flying in, and the sort of unfamiliarity the Martians had with the drive signatures of these vessels, they were originally mistaken for one vessel as opposed to six, which obviously sort of threw the Martians off. The opening volleys of the attacks were carried out with lots of torpedoes, with the Donager firing her array of torpedoes and the stealth ships firing theirs. While the Donager's array was likely larger initially, the stealth ships were able to sort of lay more torpedoes into the Donager over time. With the torpedoes of the Protogen ships being able to occasionally overwhelm and break through the Donager's PDC network, a few torpedoes did manage to quickly score very direct hits on crucial systems. Once both parties moved into the range of their railguns, they began a railgun exchange. And while the Donager's railgun is larger and likely more powerful, capable of firing a larger projectile, the Donager still could at most only bring a total of four projectiles onto a target at any given time where the group of six Protogen stealth ships could bring a total of six, and these six could be very independently targeted since each is coming from a different vessel. This allowed the Protogen vessels to once again target specific systems on board the Donager. On top of that, once these vessels had flipped around and were no longer burning towards the Donager, they became a lot harder for the Donager systems to track. And with their stealth composites and stealth designs making them very difficult to track, it became nearly impossible for the Martians to score proper hits on them at longer ranges. However, the Martians were able to score a few hits and start taking out these stealth ships, but not before they could do significant damage to the Donager, basically crippling the battleship and leaving it defenseless. With these stealth ships closing in, the command crew of the Donager made a very critical decision. They decided to scuttle the battleship to prevent it from falling into the hands of, really, whoever was attacking them. They still didn't know. 
The blast wave caused by the scuttling of the Donager ultimately destroyed the remaining stealth ships, and the only ship that got away from the battle at all was the Tachi, which once again would later be renamed to the Rosinante. All in all, this battle was a marvelous way of starting out the series, and a great way to introduce the audience to the idea of space combat within the Expanse. Within the universe, it shattered the illusion of the invincibility of the Martian Navy, which, while they were very experienced and very capable, did ultimately fall to a small fleet of mysterious stealth ships. And while this attack would have been impressive against any Martian Navy vessel, it's really impressive against a Donager-class battleship. As I've mentioned several times, they are considered to be some of the most powerful warships in the system. And if you want to learn more about the Donager class, some of the specifics about how it's built and how it's designed, I'll leave a link up here to my video on that. And I want you to let me know down in the comments whether you think it's really reasonable for this small fleet of stealth ships to actually have taken down the Donager. Do you think it's a little unrealistic, or do you think it makes perfect sense seeing the strategies utilized? And if you have anything you want to see me cover from The Expanse, leave it down below in the comments. And last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Sci-Fi Deep Dive, I'm Colin, and I will see you next time. <laughs>